Hey, my name is Mike and in this video, I'll be showing you the easiest and most effective way to make a website. And this works well if you are a business making a personal portfolio, maybe you have a fundraiser, whatever your reason for making a website is, it doesn't need to be hard. So in this video, like I said, this is the best and easiest way to make a website. And we're going to do this in just about 15 minutes. We're going to leverage the power of AI and one of the most powerful and popular website builders out there being Wix. To get started, we're going to go over to my laptop. All right, so we're going to go to centralmedia.com slash Wix. And don't worry if it looks a little bit different from this. You should see somewhere that says enter your email address and then a button that says start now. So I'm going to enter my email address. Then we can choose a password. And then for this, it doesn't actually matter which one you choose. I'm making one for my business. This does matter. We're not going to do Wix Studio. You want to continue with Wix instead. It's very important you do this. Wix Studio is a little bit more advanced. And then here, it's very tempting to start this. I'm going to set up without the chat. I just found it's a little bit too buggy. For some reason, whenever I do this, I end up with a blank page when I get to my website. So let's start without the chat. We're going to choose maybe the example here is a, a surf shop. I'm just going to make a surf shop. That's the website I want to make. So I can just type in maybe like a surf instructor uh maybe surf surf instructor right there there we go so we can say continue and that'll bring us to the dashboard now from here we're going to get a pop-up that says tell us a bit about your business we're going to choose a name and an address so perhaps we're nantucket surf supply say continue and the next question is what hours are we working so let's just say every day of the week and maybe 6 a.m to 6 p.m let's say we, we work kind of a lot and then we can choose the services now depending on what your website is like if you are an online store you might not have this but because we're having services uh, it suggests some that we can add and we can customize these in greater detail later so right here let's just say maybe we can scroll through they're not going to be related to surfing we're going to rename them but pick ones that make a lot of sense so like a private lesson makes sense one-on-one -on -one. maybe you have like a, a package where somebody can do this multiple times and maybe the third one is going to be I saw it somewhere on here equipment inspection there we go so maybe uh, they can bring in their surfboard and our, our experts are going to fix it or something like that then we can say continue and now we have the the staff members so I'm going to add my name as one of the instructors and so people could potentially book different coaches here and what else do we want with our business so I do want to accept payments in person as well as online I would like to have automated emails and sms reminders so people are not late or skipping their appointments and I want to make sure that we have uh, the ability to manage this on the go let's continue to the dashboard now we're gonna have a pop-up here that wants us to get a domain as well as upgrade don't worry about any of that right now close out of that and we're gonna go to design site the button on the top right now we have two options I'm going to go with design based on AI so on the left we're gonna click on that and it's gonna walk us through a couple different questions and it's gonna generate a site first just based on our name although we will be able to customize it with the different prompts on the left in just a second so you can see we have a pretty rough start to our website right here not exactly what we're looking for but we do need to customize all of these little blue phrases on the left side so starting off with our site profile we have the name of course but we have to add a logo for example I'm just going to upload a logo I made in Canva uh, just a little quick free logo I made and then we can add our site description as well and of course our contact info down here so once you have all that click on apply changes or actually wait no we want to add these social links as well here so you can add your Instagram your, your TikTok, whatever and keep in mind each one is basically just instagram.com slash and then whatever your username is so for me Mike O'Brien we can add one again for Facebook we can add one for YouTube for any of your socials that you have and it'll be very convenient as you're working throughout your website so I'm gonna add YouTube right here Santrell Media and maybe we're gonna add a Facebook by the way I recommend every business gets at the very least a Facebook business page and an Instagram business page I have a tutorial on how to set up both of those I'll link those down below all right now we're gonna have the same thing pop up again but we do have our site profile set up now so it's regenerating the website great now we're making progress moving in the right direction here at least we have a logo and some more relevant details you can see site structure is going to be what you want on your home page so if we want to have maybe an about section we want to have testimonials we want to have an Instagram section and then down here what other pages do we want on our website maybe I do want an about page and a contact page and now it's going to rebuild the website again version three including all of those different pages that's our site structure all right so we have site profile structure and description now we just need the theme and the layout starting off with the theme this is really going to be the fonts the colors the transitions things like that so by default it gave us the one that was a bold style sans serif font and stuff like that so we can either type in different things here or generate a new theme or just shuffle the colors that they currently have so maybe i'll say please change the primary color to 
a bluish mint color. Let's just say that and see what it does. It's not really going to interpret that as a human would, but it should shift it a little bit more to some shade of blue usually is what I've been seeing. Like, uh, let's see what we get. All right, a little bit more light blue gray. All right, so like I said, it's not gonna do exactly what I said, not a bluish mint, but it is a light blue gray. By the way, we can customize all of that later on very, very easily. It's just kind of good to get an idea of how to kind of push it in the right direction right now. Now we can change the layout. So again, you can either just generate a new layout or shuffle this layout around if you kind of like it a little bit. This one is not a terrible start, but there is a lot that I would like to change about it. All right, so now we're moving in the right direction here. I like this one a lot better. It's still not perfect, but I think this is really a great start for us. It already populated a lot of the, the photos and the text. I think there's a lot we can definitely use here. So I'm just gonna go back to the brief and continue with this design. Now, before we go and edit this, uh, we can actually get a domain. I recommend doing this now. It, it prompts us now. It makes sense to do that. Mine is, uh, let's see if we can get Nantucket Surf Supply. I, I might have used this in a previous video. Let's see if it is available. It looks like it was taken, so I'm just going to say NantucketSurfSupplyCo.com. It is available. Just easy to get that domain. I recommend a shorter one than that, but now we have to choose a plan. You could just buy the domain. You're not going to be able to connect it, but I, like I said, I recommend getting the plan anyway. It'll give you a free domain for a year. There are four different plans. Most most websites are totally fine with the light one, the smallest, cheapest plan available, unless you're doing more e-commerce stuff. But because Core is cheaper, they have like a promo going on right now, it seems. I'm going to go with Core. In the future, I can always downgrade to light if I want. I, I get the free domain, so it makes sense for me to do this. I I'm just going to go with this one right here. Now, as far as the billing plan goes, you only get the free domain if you get yearly or two years or three years. You could, like, if you do monthly, you're not going to get that free domain and you end up spending uh, like three times the price per month. So uh, yearly just makes the most sense to me for this one. So I'm going to continue to check out. Then we just enter our payment information and submit the purchase. And again, you could always continue with a free website on Wix. So there's nothing wrong with that, but I generally only recommend that to anybody who is doing it for like a school project or if you're just doing it for fun, but for just about anybody else, I really recommend getting the upgrade here. So you don't have the branding, so you do get the storage. So you have a professional domain. It just makes a lot more sense. Now we can enter our contact information to legally register the domain. Now we can choose if we want to have private registration. It's an extra $10 per year or public registration. The difference is if somebody goes to who is, they can find your personal information unless you do private registration. This is very common practice to do this. I would recommend getting private, but again, you could always save the $10 if you have like a physical business and your information is perhaps not private at all and you don't care if anyone else knows that. Now we can submit our purchase of $0 and it's prompting us to get a professional business email. I, I recommend doing that eventually, but don't bother with that right now. Let's close out of this tab. It'll bring us back to the previous tab we were on, which is the Wix editor. So if we just kind of reload this, you should see our domain show up at the top there uh, instead of like the mysite.wix thing. Uh, let's see what it does right here. And I'm also going to show you how to do everything in the editor. Yeah, there we go. So the new domain is there. And now kind of a quick rundown of this editor. Wix is using what's called a section layout. So everything highlighted in this light purple here is the welcome section. Usually the different sections have different backgrounds. So this is a section, this is a section down here, and each section has so your settings on the top right. So if we click on that, it outlines the whole thing in a darker purple. We can move it up or down. We can do quick edit. That'll change the background, the title of it on some bas basic contents within it. Of course, uh, this is something you could do for every single section. Let's close out of that. Go down to the next one. Now, if you want to resize this one here on the very bottom, you see this little arrow, this little arrow right here. If we click and drag that up or down, that'll resize this section and kind of extend the same background. If we do it on the one above us, it, it extends that one above. And so we can make this one a little bit longer. We go down here. Maybe we want more space above feedback and reviews we can drag it down the dark green gets a little bigger and same thing down here just kind of space out the website a little bit more now on the left side if we want to do anything else with sections there are a lot of tools over there but if we click on add section there are a lot of pre-made sections as well as an ai generator too but if i go down here and let's just say we want to add maybe testimonials and testimonial section let's add it somewhere i don't know if we have one yet let's add it towards the bottom of our website so Right around there, if I click on testimonials in the left side, testimonials, and say maybe I like this one, I can click and drag it, just drop it onto the website, and now it has like we have a testimonial section. All we have to do is change the different elements within that. So that brings us one layer deeper. We have all these different sections, and within each section, we have a bunch of elements. So this one right here, we've got a, a title, we have some text below that. And if you click on any one of them, you can move it around simply by clicking and dragging. So we can move it over there. 
If you don't like it, you could just click the undo button and it brings it back to where it was. And of course we could resize it. We could double click on it and change the contents of it. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do with this. So double clicking it, let's change what it says. Maybe we're gonna add our title right here, our, our business name, Nantucket Surf Supply Company. And then down here, we can add like a little tagline. Maybe we were like voted number one or something like that. Let's just say we were voted number one. There we go. And now let's make this font a little bit bigger. So the controls are on the right side. Of course, you can make it bold or italic or whatever. Very familiar controls. I think a lot of people are used to these. Let's make it centered. And of course, we could resize this as well. And you'll see it kind of snaps on with these magenta lines to different things on our page. Now, another thing you'll notice, something between sections and elements is actually going to be what we have right here, these little strips. They're essentially containers that hold different things. So this one right here has two different images in it. Uh, we can move the entire strip around and it's just easier to move kind of multiple things at the same time. For example, these two titles at the very top of the title and the text, they're both in one strip. You can click and see the outline is a strip right there. And we can click and move, drag this around wherever we want, higher and lower on the page. And it just moves both of them. They're kind of grouped together. It's an easy way to think of that. Now, if we want to add other elements, we click on the little blue plus on the left, go to add elements. There are a ton on here. I'm not going to go through all of them in this video, but of course, text, image, button. Let's say we want to add a button to this page maybe. So let's say right below the title, we want to add a button that says book now, just encouraging like a call to action high up. Somebody goes to the website, they can book their lesson or their rental right here. Now, the first four buttons are based on your theme. So when you change your theme, which we will do, change some of the colors, that'll change the button as well. It keeps it within the theme. I think that's very important. We could resize the button. And if you double click on it, just like every other element, you're able to edit that. We can change what it says to book now. We can change the icon. We can choose a link. And this can link to a number of different sources. Of course, you can go to a section on this page. You can go to a document, an email, anything else. And let's just say we want to go down to the service, the services list section on this page. So I'm going to say done. Next up, let's talk about editing our site design. If we click on site design on the left, we can choose a bunch of different themes. And these are just a combination of of colors and of course fonts as well and transitions. So let's say maybe I really like the technical one right here. It changes some things and we're gonna have to kind of tweak the website, but I like this a lot better than what we had before. So I can go with this theme, click on back. And for any theme, of course, down here, you are able to change the color, the text, the page background, the page transitions. Let's go to the color and say, maybe of the four accent colors, I wanna change this one right here. And I can, you know, I have a full hex, you know, I can change it however I want. Let's say maybe that's the color I'm looking for. And maybe this green, I want it to be a little bit more of like a teal or something. I don't know, something like that. Now we have these four colors. Now, if we click on it again, that makes that go away and we can go back to editing this. We need to kind of change the font size a little bit so that it actually fits all in one space here. And I'm still not really happy with this first section. I want to change the background of it. I don't want it to just be a color. I'm going to add an image and I'm going to delete the two images down below that. So if we go over to section background, we can change that. You can see other colors. It just doesn't quite look right. I'm not really happy with that. So let's click on image. Now we can change this section. It's stretched right now. I'd rather have it just fit in the middle of the page. I think that looks a lot better. So it's centered all the time. And now I still don't really like the background. I chose this kind of ocean picture washed out. I'm going to change it again. Find one maybe more related to surfing. If I click on image, we can look up surf, uh, surfing. And uh, based on the Wix ones, yeah, this one looks awesome. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'll change to this and I know this is going to be a great website. Look at that. Okay, so now maybe make the section a little bit longer and look at that. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're really getting somewhere with this website. That is exactly what I want to see on the top of this website. Down here, I can change the background of this. We could make it again, maybe like a, a color. It could be a gradient, for example. Now we have the first two sections pretty much looking good. We can save it. And at the top, you'll see switch to mobile. This is a really important button because you actually have a separate mobile editor it copies the desktop site but then you can tweak it a little bit to make things look good on mobile devices which is honestly going to be probably more than half of your website visitors so right here we can customize the header I think that looks good we can have our, our quick actions in the bottom I'm okay with that as well and do we want to have a back to top button I don't really think I need that so I'm gonna say no it's kind of a short website and we can go to the mobile editor now within the mobile editor we're able to move things around. So if I want this text to be a little bit lower, I could just click and drag the strip down. I think that looks a little better. Just some more headspace up there, a little bit less claustrophobic. And then as you scroll down, if everything, everything looks good, then there's nothing else you need to change, but you can make a slightly different website here. So again, save it, preview it, publish it, click on view site. You can see your entire website right there. I'm going to close out of this and go back to the desktop editor. Now going down the left side, some other things to know 
on the on the very top we have the pages so we have all these different pages the about page the contact page if i just click on about we can edit this all the same editing tools we had before additionally going further down we didn't talk about the app market yet if you click on the little four four dot array this is the wix app market i recommend checking out the wix ones in particular they're the most optimized most of them are free some of them like you pay a little bit for but you've got cool things like a pro gallery if you are a photographer and you want high resolution photos you can have bookings on here you can have a blog you can have online programs like maybe a course for example a members area you can have videos file sharing a restaurant ordering thing like you've got a lot of different apps that wix has available so it's not always in your face you only add them if they're relevant to your website these are just ones that like i said maybe the restaurant one i don't know maybe they have a fee for that i haven't checked all of them but a lot of them are just free to add and, and you're able to use them just natively on here but there are a lot of non-wix apps as well in this wix app market for example mailchimp or a lot of other email marketing softwares you can get ones for like running ads on TikTok or facebook setting up your pixels like that there's a lot of great options you have available. So that's a crash course on how to make a website with Wix. I think it looks pretty good right now. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I recommend checking out our full tutorial. It's one hour long and I really dive into details on how to set up your business email, how to set up your search engine optimization so you rank on Google, how to add different apps, like really a lot of nitty gritty things that really would be the next step. But this is a crash course, like I said, in about 15-ish minutes on how to make a website using Wix. We did that. I think it looks great. It's up and running. It's on the domain. And I wish you all the best of luck with your website. So leave a comment below. Let me know what your website's about and any questions you might have. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael Bryan with Santrell Media and I'll see you in the next one.